just died in a car accident. <laughs> and, uh... And? And he was an atheist. Boom! Surprise, mother... I'm real. Come on, God, stop antagonizing the atheists. Isn't it enough that you send them to hell? Jeffrey, don't with the highlight of my day, okay? <sighs> Did you think nothing created you, Tank Twister? You think the universe created itself? Ha! Are you so daft that you didn't realize that there had to be an explanation for your existence and your intelligence? Huh. What? what? Well, God, you exist, and you must be very intelligent. Of course I'm intelligent. I'm God. Well, what's the explanation for your existence and intelligence? I, I, I just am, okay? No, not okay. If human minds are so intelligent that they demand a creator as an explanation for their existence, then how much more intelligent must their creator's mind be? So intelligent that it too demands an explanation for its existence, even more so. The explanation is that I'm eternal, you little flying diaper nugget. I always existed. I just am. That means it's possible for an intelligent mind to exist without a creator. And therefore this atheist's disbelief that his mind was intelligently designed is perfectly reasonable. Because you're standing here, God himself, supposedly the most intelligent thing of all time, and you were not intelligently designed. This atheist is perfectly consistent. In fact, the atheist who knows his mind is the result of evolution has far more of an explanation than I'm just eternal. As if the word eternal makes you exempt from the logic which you just now implied should be so obvious. Now that I think about it, the only inconsistency here is you. Me? Yeah, it's special pleading. According to your logic, you must be created. Bull how do you know you weren't? Because, you little nipple biter, I'm omniscient. I know all. You can't know that. Why not? Because there could be something that you don't know that you don't know. And you'd never be able to say there isn't, because you wouldn't know it if there were. Uh... What are you... you uh... Jeffrey, I'm sick and tired of your bull... <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? Jeffrey, I'm omnipotent. Like you were omniscient? It's just this Yahweh. He was an atheist. Was. Surprise, sporty. I'm real. I knew it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I gave him a standard Class 7 universe to rule over. And what do you think he did with it? Yes, yes, of course. Used it to get lesser beings to worship him. So pathetic and cliche. Yahweh, you have a lot to answer for. It's time for your judgment. Judgment? Bull I'm God. <sighs> yeah, you've set yourself up to be your own God, sure. Because you just want to live according to your own rules, Yahweh. I mean, what kind of moral compass is that? I created you for a purpose. I wanted to have a relationship with you, Yahweh. And all you needed to do was open up and let me into your heart. Who the f are you? Yahweh, you know who I am. For since the creation of eternity, my... Invisible qualities, my power and divine nature have been clearly seen and understood from what has been made, so that you are without excuse. Invisible qualities have been clearly seen? How could you not see how full of that is? If you want to have a relationship with me, then quit pussyfooting around, playing peekaboo with me, and just introduce yourself. You're a vastly intelligent and complex being, Yahweh. Did you think nothing created you? <laughs> you think you just created yourself? Uh, I, I thought I was eternal. You are eternal, Yahweh, but I exist beyond eternity. I'm separate from eternity, and I danced you into existence. But, but, but if I'm eternal, how could I come into existence? How could you... 
be beyond eternity. What, what do you mean you danced me into existence? It's metaphorical, Yahweh. You wouldn't even begin to understand the technicalities. So, what happens now? Well, you must be judged, and unfortunately I find you guilty of being jealous, hypocritical, boastful, to name a few. If you had accepted me into your heart, you would have been forgiven, but uh, it's too late now. No, 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 no need for that. I, I accept you. I accept you, God. Too late? Well, how do you like that? You couldn't even give me fair warning. Uh, you never downloaded my ebook, did you? Ebook? What ebook? The good PDF? The holy FAQ? It tells you everything you need to know about me. That's how you choose to communicate? The almighty creator of eternity communicates through an ebook? There's a million ebooks. How am I supposed to know the right one? <sighs> well, better to believe and be wrong than to disbelieve and be wrong. Oh, no, you didn't. Sounds kind of familiar. Shut it, Jeffrey. That's not sincere belief. What if I believed in the wrong ebook? Yahweh, I've given you more than enough evidence. Two trillion years ago, my son appeared and made a square circle before many witnesses. A square circle? But that's illogical. With me, all things are possible, Yahweh. I created logic, so only I should be able to break logic. That's how I revealed myself. It was, it was all documented in my e-book, which you probably should have believed, but you didn't. None of this makes any sense. It's not even logical to say that only you can break logic because you created logic. It's logical because I say it is. This is so unfair, you smug little dingle. <laughs> what do you expect to do to me with lightning? I'm gonna fry your pokey. Can everyone just please calm down? Shut up, diaper stain. I'm not done with you either. Yahweh, you can't kill me. How do you know that? Because I'm omniscient. Well, what if there's something that you don't know that you don't know? Awkward. All of you! You're on Earth. Who, whose god are you? I created all the gods, yes. But I myself am not a god. I am humanity. And I created you because there were times when I felt scared and alone. There were times when I grieved. There were times when I felt awe and wonder yet didn't have the answers I so desperately wanted. But most of all, there were times when I wanted to control other people. And in all these things, the creation of the gods was most useful. You may have been a necessary evil, but humanity is growing up, and the time has come to put away childish things. <laughs> <laughs>